What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back, bringing you our top Pokemon card auctions of the week recap. Another excellent week in Pokemon card auctions, folks. We'll be reviewing several of the more expensive alt art Pokemon cards. We'll be taking a look at some of the newest uh, graded cards from the set Temporal Forces. And we'll be taking a look at the Rookie Umbreon card from Neo Discovery. Has almost got back up to its 2020-2021 prices as a PSA 10. It has been an outstanding week for Pokemon card auctions, so please stay tuned to the very end. You're not going to want to miss today's episode. A big thank you to today's auction recap sponsor. It is the great people over at lowpopping.com, your source for investment-worthy Pokemon cards. Every week, folks, or at least almost every week, we see a lowpopping.com sponsorship because every week they drop new inventory of high-end Pokemon Grails they have available for sale. Whether it's vintage gold or modern grails, lowpopping.com has something for everyone. I'm talking graded cards, graded video games, graded booster packs, vintage theme decks, autographed cards. I could go on and on. And if you are interested in obtaining any of these items and you don't have the cash on hand on lowpopping.com, you can trade for the piece that you must have for your collection. You can also sell to them or make offers or do both. Don't forget, they also have buy now, pay later options also available for you to take advantage of. So after this recap, go check out lowpopping.com. I will link their website in the description of this video. Go take a look and please, as always, let me know what you pick up. All right, everybody, let's get started off with a couple of graded cards from Temporal Forces. Here we have a Walking Wake EX Special Illustration Rare that graded a PSA 10 and sold an auction this week for about $200, while the most expensive card from the set, the Iron Crown EX Special Illustration Rare, sold this week for about $261. And then on to the numerous, very expensive alt art cards that came by and have been doing very well as of recent. Here is an Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies. One copy sold for $1,275. Another PSA 10 sold for $1,424. And then we saw a CGC 10 pristine example of this card sell for $1,375. So the price of this card as a 10 or at least a PSA in CGC 10 has been holding strong. We also saw the Gengar and Mimikyu GX alt art from Team Up sold for $739 this week, along with the Gengar VMAX from Fusion Strike that sold for $795. Another card that's been doing very well has been the Rayquaza VMAX from Evolving Skies that sold this week for $690. And then we saw the Giratina V alt art from Lost Origin made a big splash this week. Here's a PSA 10 copy that sold for $800. Another one sold for $855. Another one here sold for $951. We are very close to the $1,000 mark for this particular alt art. Very exciting. And then the king of the alt arts, or at least king as far as value, would have to be the Latios Latios alt art. Uh, GX card from Team Up that sold this week for $2,374 as a PSA 10. And we have another modern card sale. This wasn't an auction, it was a best offer accepted, but I thought it was very interesting. Here is a hollow Charizard from Evolutions that graded a PSA 10, was listed for $2,500, had a best offer accepted price of $2,000, which is pretty nice because this card has been going as low as $12. $1,300 for a PSA 10, so $2,000, not too shabby. On to some vintage cards. Here is an unlimited base set Blastoise in PSA 10, sold for $1,732, along with this PSA 10 base set unlimited Charizard, sold this week for $10,100. Here is a Pidgeot first edition Hollow from Jungle. These, uh, these colorless Pokemon from the Watsi era, very tough to grade. This card is a PSA 10 sold for $2,556. And then here is a first edition Flareon that sold for $2,031. From Gym Challenge, we saw this first edition Giovanni's Gyarados sell for $1,030. Onto the E series, we saw this Hollow Alakazam from Sky Ridge sell for $1,100. And then here we had a CGC 10 Pristine Hollow Gyarados from Sky Ridge sell for $2,469 US dollars. 
uh, onto the EX era. We saw a couple of very interesting hollows graded a PSA 10 from the EX era. Here's a Blaziken from Ruby and Sapphire that sold for $489. Here is a hollow Swampert from Ruby and Sapphire that sold for $737. And then lastly, we saw this Septile hollow that sold for $1,090 as a PSA 10. Here we have a Rocket Suicune EX from EX Team Rocket Returns sold this week for $1,582. Uh, we also saw a Deoxys EX from EX Deoxys sell for $650. From Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders, we saw this Reverse Hollow Lugia as a PSA 10 sell for $2,100 this week. Here is a Hollow Dragon Knight from Legends Awakened sold for $2,600 this week. And then from Stormfront, we saw this Secret Rare Charmander as a PSA 10 sell for $1,705 US dollars. Uh, we saw a couple of Level X cards. Here's an Infernape Level X from Diamond and Pearl Base Set. Sells a PSA 10 for $874. Here we saw a Salamance Level X that sold for $986. And an Absol Level X from Supreme Victor sold for $662. Here's a couple of awesome Umbreon cards from the EX and Heart Gold Soul Silver series. Here's an Umbreon Holo from Delta Species sold for $1,625. Here's an Umbreon Hollow from Heart Gold Soul Silver Undaunted that sold for $1,925. And then this Umbreon Hollow from Call of Legends sold for $2,714. And then lastly on eBay, we saw this complete lot of all of the Watsy theme decks. Every single theme deck, folks. This is a thing of beauty right here. Sold for an even $12,000. So, I mean, you got bangers from the E-Series. You have the Legendary Collection theme decks, which are very, very expensive on their own. So, all these theme decks sealed, sold for 12,000 big ones. On to the PWCC Weekly Auction Block, we saw this uh, it's Charizard CD promo. Now we usually see this card as a PSA 10, but here we saw a BGS 10 example sell for $1,590. Here we have a CGC 10 first edition Tyranitar from Neo Discovery. This is a pop three card that sold for $1,620. While this Japanese shining Tyranitar in PSA 10 sold for $5,400. Here we saw the Mimikyu Scream promo sell for $4,320. And if you weren't here last year, folks, this card was off the charts expensive about a year ago. It's come down a little bit, but still over $4,300 is not too bad, right? Here we have a Vaporeon VMAX from the Summer Pokemon Card Campaign in PSA 10. This one here sold for $4,440. The Flareon VMAX sold for $5,040, while the Jolteon VMAX sold for the most at $5,520. Up next, we have a Japanese Blueback No Number Gyarados in PSA 10 that sold for $6,600. This card only has a population of seven. Here is a 2005 Black Star Promo World's Championship Arena card in PSA 10 that sold for $7,500. And then we saw this CGC 10 Pristine German base set Charizard. Uh, also got the NBA Gold stamp on there. Pop 8 card that sold for $8,700. And then we saw this Shadowless base set Charizard as a CGC 10 gem mint sell for $9,300. Here we have a first edition Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny sell for $10,800. And then here it is folks, the first edition Umbreon from Neo Discovery selling as a PSA 10 this week for $10,500. And it wasn't five or six weeks ago folks, this card was selling for closer to $5,000. And if I may remind you the all time high of this card was back in 2021 where it sold for $12,600. So we are getting very close to the 2020, 2021 prices for this Umbreon rookie card. Here are a couple of Japanese promos to finish off this recap. We have a Pikachu Art Academy promo card in PSA 10 that sold for $11,100. And the auction of the week has to go to this CGC 10 Gem Mint. Uh, Hyper two-day prize University Magikarp promo card uh, that sold for $27,600. This is a CGC Pop 
four card right here, folks. That's all I got today. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of the recap. And don't forget to go check out lowpopping.com. Link to that will be in the description below. That's all I got today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in my next one.